Welcome back to another YouTube video and today I will be discussing four different strategies on how you can improve your SEO for free just by using either Google Search Console or by leveraging the power of AI as well. So let's get into it. Before we get into this video, make certain to check out cadradash.com where you can book me out for a free 15 minute strategy call and I can go over how you can grow your organic traffic for your website. So this is a page on FatRank. It is talking about what is the digital landlord and essentially how you can, essentially this page talks about how you can own digital assets and essentially earn money from them and how you can do that. Now, if we take a look at Google Search Console, it literally has just started taking off a little bit. So all we've done is we have went on other pages and used all of these secondary keywords as internal linking opportunities. So if you do site colon and then your website and then space the keyword here, you will find all of these pages that are relevant to what is a digital landlord. Now, what you would want to do one by one is go through all of these Obviously, also look at your secondary keywords, so how to become a digital landlord, how to become a digital landlord, what is a digital landlord, what is a digital landlord, and using all of these secondary keywords and LSIs, you want to be using those as anchors for your internal links. So that is one way that you can improve your internal linking and also improve your on-page SEO as well. So this is method number two, and I'm gonna be showing you guys how to reclaim a Google snippet. So if we look here, how to check for bed bugs, the current website is aad.org. And as we can see, their current format here is a numbered list. Now, if we were to check the featured snippet queue, so if we do minus aad, Dot org because this is the website that is currently ranking position one if you take a look at the domain name all we're telling Google is we want to see who is second in line for the featured snippet as you can see the NHS which is a massive authoritative website in the UK these guys should be ranking position one but they're not because their actual content structure isn't the best so if we now look at who is third in the featured snippet queue just by doing minus NHS dot UK and as we can see, epa.gov. And again, this is a government website, again, a lot of authority. However, the actual content isn't structured correctly. So let's say our website is NHS and we want to actually win this snippet back. What we would want to do is use the power of AI for this. So all I have done is I have copied both of the snippets into ChatGBT and this is the prompt that I'm using. I want to win a Google snippet. The current snippet is this. So this is the current ranking snippet. And then I have said, this is my current snippet. And this is obviously the NHS website here. And all I have said is, can you restructure my snippet? So it's a numbered list and more helpful. And I'm just gonna hit on enter. So I just finished my prompt. However, one thing it did come back with is that this would be way too big to actually win a Google snippet. All I'd done after that is needs to be 320 characters maximum because that's the maximum amount of characters you can have in a Google featured snippet. And it has come back with a very concise answer. So bite marks, blood spots, bed bug feces, musty odor, eggs and shells. So essentially what we've done here is we have figured out that the intent has changed. It's no longer a actually wants a numbered list. And essentially what we have done is we have used the power of ChatGPT to make certain that we are matching the intent that Google wants from our website. So this is method number three. And what we're gonna be doing now is we will be rewriting our pages using ChatGPT to make them a little bit more concise. So if we actually look at this SERP here, how to run a Python script, as we can see, realpython.com ranks position number one and the official python.org website ranks position four. Now, if we actually look at this content, what's actually ended up happening is that it looks like that there would have been a very Python savvy person writing the content and not an SEO savvy person writing the content. So what we're essentially gonna be doing is we're gonna be using this script here. Can you write this article with the correct subheadings, H2s, H3s? I want this article more concise and talking about how to run a Python script. And all I have done is I've just pasted the entire python.org article in ChatGBT. And we're just gonna press enter. So as you can see here, it has just come back with a much nicer and well put together article. As you can see, it has an actual introduction. It has the opening the command prompt. So it's actually going step by step into the actual details on how to run a Python script as well. So it is a lot more SEO friendly, this article. Now, one thing that you can also do on top of all of this is run this through Grammarly, making sure that you don't actually have any grammar issues, and then you can upload it to your website. However, just by looking at this article, I think we can all agree that it is 
is a well put together article as opposed to the one that's actually on the official Python website. So just by uploading this, they will be able to see a jump by actually having more concise content on the website. So method number four is we're actually going to be adding in missing queries onto our page. So this is our mental masturbation page on fat rank. And as we can see here, we have had a slight bit of an increase and all we've done is we have went in and added in missing keywords. So I'm going to show you exactly how we've done it. So first of all, what you want to do is obviously load up your exact URL on Google Search Console, then click on export at the top right here. You can export to Google Sheets, Excel, CSV. I'm just gonna use Google Sheets. Now, the first step, what we want to do is just copy our entire article and we're gonna paste it into ChatGBT with the following prompt. The first part of the prompt is very simple. This is my entire article on my website. Then all I've just done is I've just copied and pasted the word for word article on ChatGPT. Then I'm going to scroll all the way down to the bottom and I'm going to use this second part of the prompt. This here is the second part of the prompt. Here are a list of phrases that I have had impressions. Tell me in a table format which of these phrases I don't have in my article that I should include. And all I have done is I've just copied the top 10, top 20 phrases that I have had impressions and clicks for on Google Search Console. So all I've done here is I've just copied this and I'm just gonna hit on paste. So it has just come back with our list of keywords. As we can see here, mental masturbation, we have mentioned nine times in the article. What is mental, we've mentioned once, but mental masturbation, which is misspelt, we actually haven't included. Now, if we actually look on Google Search Console, we actually have got a lot of impressions for it, but we've only had 20 clicks. So what we would want to do is actually include that into our article. Same goes with mental masturbation meaning as well. <coughs> so as we can see here, mental masturbation meaning, if we look at our sheet here, we actually have had nine clicks for it, 566 impressions. However, we've not even mentioned it on the page. So just by adding in all of these secondary keywords and LSIs onto our page, we will see a massive difference, especially if you are already getting clicks and some form of impressions. Google just needs to know that you are specifically talking about that phrase. So just by adding it onto your page, it will massively help. So that's been my video on my four tips on how to improve your on-page SEO and also your content. If you guys do have any video ideas, make sure to drop them down below in the comment section. And if you want a free 15 minute strategy call with myself on how you can improve your website's traffic, make sure to check out casualdash.com. Thanks.